Morning, everybody. It's 847 on this Thursday, the 26th of uh, September. And because it's Thursday, it's Claims Day. So let's get to that and the rest of the important numbers which came this morning. Um, this is your pre-opening comment. Video number 2254, Asia and Europe, both higher. Claims, 218,000 versus 219,000, uh, which was also versus uh, last week's 222, which is basically unchanged and almost exactly as expected. Same situation with continuing claims, 16th week above 1.8, it was 1.834. GDP, third look at the second quarter. The number came in at 3. Expectations were 2.9 to 3. Last look, 3. Exactly in line. The deflator, 2.5. Also exactly in line. Durable goods orders were expected to be down 3%. 3 um, they came in at unchanged and uh, X transportation, they came in actually at up five tenths. All of these numbers, impressive, unimpressive, doesn't matter how you take them. As far as the market's concerned, they're good because they're in line with expectations. Uh, when I came in this morning, the Dow was up 170. Right now, it's up 200. Uh, the NASDAQ was up 290, it's up 300. The S&Ps were up 46, they're up 47. So really not much change. The big change was uh, the uh, surprise beat, and it wasn't so much a surprise beat, but the extent of it and um, all of the uh, projections going forward for Micron were really uh, the biggest piece of this this morning. The stock is 111 and a half. That's up over 15, almost $16. That's 16.3%. They beat by seven cents. They beat on revenues. They guided earnings above consensus, revenues above consensus. And uh, the commentary was the robust, robust AI demand drove a strong ramp of data center DRAM products and industry leading high bandwidth memory. You know, when they push the amount of data that they push for um, AI, memory is an issue. Uh, CarMax reported in line and beat on revenue, but the stock is 69.08, um, and that is down 541. Uh, used unit sales increased 5.1, and unit sales per store also increased 4.3%. That's kind of interesting uh, that this one is down uh, because uh, we've had this huge move in Carvana um, in the beginning of <clears throat> beginning of September. The low was uh, uh, 124, and we are currently trading 170. Um, you know, a little bit stronger look at it, and we go back to May when the stock was 67, and it's trading 170, so there's a little bit of disparaging between uh, CarMax, which sells used cars, and Carvana, which sells used cars. <clears throat> Accenture beats by a penny. The stock is 349. That's up 12 or 3.6 percent. NRG raises adjusted EBITDA free cash flow guidance. The stock is 95 and a quarter. That's up a little over six or 6.8 percent. Um, Fuller, HB Fuller, 73.40, down seven and a quarter or nine percent. They missed, they missed on revenues and guided below consensus. Uh, Southwest Airlines up a dollar 32. Um, 
the uh, revenue per seat mile up two to three percent from flat to down two percent and an additional 2.5 billion share repurchase plan so you have um, you know you have um, some of the uh, I guess I'm trying to remember who it is um, Apollo group in there pushing them along and seemingly getting some results. Um, Bernstein upgrades Starbucks, 9810 up two and a half, and J-Bill, which is J-Bill circuits. They beat by eight cents, beat on revenue, guided in line, revenues in line, stock is 122.88 up 945 or 8.3%. Um, the chart on the screen is the oil. Um, I'm showing you this because, you know, regardless of what the election looks like, regardless of what uh, demand looks like, oil is continuing lower. We have this series of lower highs, and now, as I mentioned uh, a couple of weeks ago, we have broken the long-term 200-week moving average. Um, and rallied back up to the break around 77 and then come back down and broken again into the support not of that moving average but of the raw price came back down we rallied up again right here to where we broke to the downside from and could not get through it. That was uh, this week's high at 72.40. We're currently trading 68.10. I want to show you this on a daily because it becomes even more clear. Here's the six month. So you see where we broke to the downside. You see where we, you know, we have a history of this. We break, we rally up to the break, we come back down to support, we rally back up and make a lower high, we break again, we rally up again to the point of the break and collapse again. Um, you know, it, it, the low here is 65.27, the low close is uh, 6575. Uh, I don't see how we don't at least test that area. Um, you know, if we don't get that far, we certainly get to 66 and a half or 66. So uh, I'm kind of bearish there. As far as the rest of the futures markets, um, Oil down, as I said, a dollar sixty. Nat gas is up a little. The grains are beginning to recover a little more. Gold up another eleven dollars. Silver up another fifty-eight cents. Copper up another dime. Copper has had a great move here. Um, it's getting into resistance, but the fact of the matter is, it's had a phenomenal move from the breakout. Higher lows consolidation, breakout and run, little consolidation, and now uh, we're testing this 460, let's call it 460 to 468, 470 in that area. Uh, so very healthy there. Uh, let's see. Cotton basically unchanged. Coffee 270 that continues higher. Uh, the dollar is still hanging around par. Par spot 42. Uh, this is a new contract though. Uh, the old contract, which is expiring, uh, was below 100. So the only reason we're above 100 again is because they switched contracts and the bonds are down 5 30 seconds and that's about it folks we have more fed speakers today and tomorrow and um, of course uh, tomorrow we have the fed's favorite inflation number the pce and the core pce and that generally is market moving
So be careful out there. By the way, we rolled forward to the October, the regular October, October 18th, um, calls in the um, Lumen. Um, I still really like the stock. Uh, I I'm, I'm not concerned about holding both the expiring tomorrows and the regular monthlies because we took that 100% gain, so we really have no money in the position in the ones that are in the money. We're in the sixes, and the stock is trading around 719. So, you know, we paid, I think, uh, 54 cents for them. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty comfortable holding both. Have a good day.